Hello, Bosley Bees. My name is Garcia. And my name is Marcus. Welcome to our first Bosley bus for 2022. We've been at school for 10 weeks now, and we're still on the school grounds. I thought we'd be doing remote learning by now. Well, thank potatoes that we're still here at school. Well, let's get this episode started. It's time to hear from Hannah and Rosie reporting on School Live. Good day, my name is Hannah. Howdy Judy, and my name is Rosie, and welcome to the School Live. May the teacher landed on the 23rd of February and many teachers have received very good responses from parents and caregivers. Hey Rosie, did you hear about Song Room? Song Room, yes that's right. Song Room is back at it again with this style What's A Go teaching us all about our Aboriginal culture and respect. Also Bill is back, everyone loves Bill, a sport master teaching us all about AFL and cricket. We also had a gala day, photo day and clean up Australia day. Everyone looked great on photo day and our playgrounds are exceptionally clean. I know all of us are very content with more and more activities coming back, but unfortunately our time has come. Turn it back to our brilliant news anchors. Bye! Wow, there's so many events happening in the school. I'm also glad our cricket king Bill is back. Couldn't agree with you more. Samuel and Zoe, tell us more about what's happening around the world. Hi, my name is Samuel. And I'm Zoe, and we'll be taking a look at world news, starting with the Olympics. With one gold, two silvers and a bronze, Australia finished 18th place in the Winter Olympics. This is a good result considering we do not have snow to practice on. We indeed did a great job. The next news is about COVID. COVID has eased along Australia's borders to open to tourists as long as they have their two vaccinations. Isn't that great? Sure is. Didn't you know 95.7% of people have gotten their first jab? Yep. And did you know 943 have gotten their second jab? It's amazing how far we've come. It is amazing, that's for sure. These are great statistics for New South Wales. I agree. Have you heard the Tasmanian tigers coming back? Isn't that fascinating? But aren't they extinct? Well, they are. But a professor, Andrew Pasks, hopes to bring them back. But how are they going to do that? They get the DNA from the animal to clone the Tasmanian tiger. Wouldn't that cost a lot to clone animals? Just a few million dollars. Not my million dollars. Now back to Marcus and Garcia. Go Aussies. I'm so proud of everyone. Yeah, same. There's a lot of things going around the world, right? Yep, we can also have tourists around. Now my family can visit. Now passing the mic to our one and only Sophia and Arian. Hi, my name is Arian. And I'm Sophia. Let's introduce our new teacher, Miss Mazumichi. He's teaching you four, and I'm sure her class four and we're having lots of fun. Welcome, Miss Mazumichi, to Bosley Park School. How are you loving this school so far? I am loving this school. It's been a really good experience. Um, everyone's been very kind and warm and welcoming. Children have all been beautiful, so it's been a really good experience so far. Well, that's great. We love how settling into all. What inspired you to be a teacher? I inspired to be a teacher for a number of reasons. Um, I grew up with a family next door of teachers, so they had some great stories to tell. I also had a beautiful year one teacher who really just stayed with me with her thoughts. And also I love learning, and so hopefully my love of learning will motivate um, the children to do have the same. Amazing. I hope other students will choose an occupation they like too. What are your favourite hobbies? My favourite hobbies? Um, I've got a few, but I do love to travel when I could travel. I love to garden when it's out in the sunshine, uh, reading, cooking. I love spending time with my family and friends as well. And going to the beach when I could. How interesting. What food do you enjoy the most? I love all food, and food loves me too. Um, but I do love Italian food, I do love Thai. Um, Middle East, any food really, no preference. Yum, how delicious. What is your biggest accomplishment? Wow, I've got lots of accomplishments. But my two would be um, my two boys, who I love dearly, and the other one is going to uni and um, doing my teaching degree and becoming a teacher for now. Very extraordinary. Well, thank you, Miss Mizumichi, for your time. Thank you, Sophia, and thank you, Arian, for um, interviewing me and looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. Let's cross live stay local with Angeline and Chloe with our latest events in our area. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hey, my name is Chloe. And it's me, Angelina. Well, there certainly has been a lot of things happening around here. Have you heard about Mr. Easter Bunny? Um, do you mean Mrs. Easter Bunny? Oh yes, Mrs. Easter Bunny is hopping into the boulevard Fairfield Heights on Wednesday, 35th of April between 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Her basket is filled with chocolate Easter eggs, so why not say hi and grab an egg while you're doing your shopping? 
Besides that, have you heard of any other news? Dumplings smiling. Dumplings smiling? You do mean smiling dumplings, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I obviously meant that. The new shop has opened at Wetherill Park's Docklands. I heard that a robot delivers the food. Wow, that's awesome. But have you heard the news that our local best and less at Stocklands has been permanently closed? Oh wow, what an absolute shame. Surprised my mom hasn't noticed yet. My mom has, and she is devastated. Well, things aren't looking too bad for me. EB Games is still open and I can win there every time I'm at Stocklands. Ugh, I'm not a gamer. I really don't get sitting at a screen playing make-believe games. I'm just hoping Mr. and Less is replaced by a fashion shop. That's my thing. What's your favorite game? My favorite game is Undertale. Totally recommend it. Besides that, I wonder what Mrs. Betts thing is and if she shops at Stocklands. Speaking of, let's hear from our school principal. Hi boys and girls. So welcome to our first Bosley Buzz for 2022. I can't believe we're already at the end of the term. I want to say a huge shout out to Miss Benatel, Miss Morrow and to our SRC for putting together a fantastic edition this week. So I'd like to congratulate you all, congratulate you, congratulate your parents and caregivers and congratulate the staff at Bosley Park Public School on uh, what has been a challenging and busy term. It's fantastic that we're all back at school. We've had a lot of um, issues to deal with, COVID of course, but also many wet weather days. So I wanna say thank you to everyone for being so flexible, for being so responsible and still being active learners, even though we've had lots of issues this term. So boys and girls, we've had a lot of our families and our staff impacted by COVID this term. I want to say a huge thank you though to everyone for your efforts, especially um, when parents are keeping their children home in isolation due to being having symptoms of COVID or a household contact with COVID. We really do appreciate your support um, in keeping our community safe and well. So thank you so much for, for helping us. Come term two, we still need you to be vigilant with the children and symptoms. So if anyone does have any symptoms, they need to do a rat test. Everyone has got ample rat tests. So please use the rat test and if your child does test positive, you need to report it to Service New South Wales via the app. And you also need to make sure that your child is kept home for the seven days and isolate. Even if your child is showing very little symptoms or no symptoms, it's still really important that they stay home for the entire seven days. And parents and caregivers, we are still ensuring that our household contacts are staying home. The rules are changing but we really need your um, assistance with that to make sure that our community is kept as safe as can be. So thank you. This week, your teachers are going to be meeting with you and your parents and caregivers for our three-way goal setting conferences. So please make sure that you attend these really important meetings. It's a great way for you to focus on special goals that you are going to achieve and it's also a good way to share what you're doing at school with your parents and caregivers. I know your teachers really look forward to these meetings. This week we also have got our Easter raffle. So I know your teachers are planning Easter activities for you to complete in class. But the PNC have organised a bumper Easter raffle. The Easter raffle tickets need to be returned by Wednesday this week, ready for our Easter draw on Thursday. So boys and girls, if you want to win a prize, make sure you purchase some tickets. So our last day of term one will be Friday the 8th of April. So we want to see you all still here on Friday. You then will have two weeks of school holidays and Easter will take place during that two week break. On Monday the 25th of April, so that's after our two weeks of holidays, it's Anzac Day. Anzac Day is a special day, it's a public holiday and we are encouraging our families to go to a memorial service at their local RSL or um, sporting club so that you can commemorate Anzac Day. I know our school captains and Miss Burkett are going to be attending the dawn service down at Smithfield RSL. So please take advantage of these services and, and try to attend. Boys and girls, you also get to stay home on Tuesday, the 26th of April. On the 26th of April, the Tuesday, only staff come to school and we do what's called professional learning. So that's our school development day for staff. 
the students return to school on the 27th of April. So the Wednesday, on Thursday, the 28th of April, we're going to have our school Anzac Day service. We are inviting you to bring flowers along to school that day so that we can make our class wreaths. A note will be sent home that week though, reminding you to bring in some flowers. We'd also like your parents and caregivers, our community members to attend our service if they can. So our service will take place on Thursday the 28th of April, starting at 11.40 a.m. We're hoping to return to our normal pre-COVID programs. So Spanish and Italian, library lessons, things that we have missed this term will be starting. So when you do return to school next term, we are hoping that we are going to be able to come to school and play before the school bell on the flagpole Asheville. So all children need to arrive between 8.30 in the morning and 10 to 9. Make sure you're here by that 10 to 9 bell. No longer going to our classrooms, we'll meet on the flagpole Asheville. Kindergarten students, we're looking forward to you doing a full day at school as well in from term two. So kindergarten parents and caregivers, you'll be collecting your children at 10 to three. That's our normal dismissal time, just like everyone else does in our school. In week two, we've also got life education happening. And a note will go home about life education early next term. So we're looking forward, boys and girls, to a fantastic term two. It's been a busy term one. You've done extremely well, extremely proud of you all. Make sure that you have a great Easter. Enjoy the holiday break with your family. Try and stay safe and keep well. Bye bye. Thank you, Mrs. Betts. Well, this is the end for our first episode of Bosley Buzz for 2022. And remember, Bosley, keep buzzing. See you next time.